Hello everyone. Today we again think about the second year proficiency in English part 2 that is S4. In last video we have seen the process of reading part number 1 that is the emergent reading and now today we will think about the second part that is the phonic reading it is the second part of process of reading so when we think about the phonic reading it has also another name it is also called Syllabic reading. Phonic reading has one more make name that is syllabic reading. It means syllables are important here. Syllables are very important here, not the letters. Okay. So, phonic reading, it is also called the process of decoding. Process of decoding. You might have heard the names coding, encoding and decoding. So, Thinking about the decoding, let's see what is encoding. What actually happens in encoding? Encoding is converting the data or information into code. Convert data oblique information into code converting data or information into code and what is decoding what is decoding decoding is converting code into the plain text convert code into plain text So, here convert the data is important, converting data into code and in decoding, converting code into text. Let's try to understand the concept. When encoding is there, it means that we have to convert our data, our information into some code. As the computer works, you know that decoding and decoding, encoding and decoding is happens in case of computer system. Whenever we put, whenever we feed any information to computer, computer convert that in information into his or its own coding language. And when we take something from the computer, again computer changes or computer shows the information in decoding process so the same thing happened in case of phonic reading in phonic reading just we have to convert the dark code into the plain text now as far as the process of decoding and decoding is concerned just think about what would be the definition of phonic reading so phonic reading means the relationship between the letters of written language relationship between the letters of written language
द रिलेशनशिप बिटवीन रिलेशनशिप बिटवीन द लेटर्स ऑफ रिटर्न लैंग्वेज एंड द साउंड ऑफ स्पोकन लैंग्वेज लेटर्स आर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट हियर एंड द साउंड आर इंपॉर्टेंट हियर Two things are very important there. Letters in the written form, and when we have the oral form, that we have to convert the written letters into the sound. So this is one example. Sorry, one definition. We can think in another way that systematic teaching of sound conveys the letter. systematic systematic teaching of sound convey systematic of teaching sound convey by letters so these are the two definitions which explain everything about what is phonic reading in both definitions that sounds and letters are very important that here is also letter sounds here is also sound and letters so both things are very important that so as i told you that it is a syllabic reading method so syllables are very important syllables are important how syllable comes into exist i am taking one example for example the word cat it has a phonemic transcription just like in cat it has only one syllable cat so in phonic reading syllables are very important and how syllables comes into exist it has some rules and regulations in phonetic so phonemic transcription requires that for making the syllables we know that we have 26 letters in english and 44 sounds in english we have 26 alphabets and 26 alphabets represent 44 sounds it in short it means it doesn't mean that every letter represent only one sound sometimes a single letter can represent one or more than one sound this is a good example if i take the example of word seat and the word seat we have two vowel sounds there sorry we have vowel sound there this word is having one syllable and this word is also having one syllable both word has one syllable but sound is different that for example i letter i represent two sounds that in the first word i sound is used that and in second word this sound is used that so it means that sometimes a single alphabet can represent one or more than one sounds we will take one more example take the example of cat and kite if we look at the phonemic transcription cat and kite
the spelling stars when we think about the spelling of cat the spelling starts with c and when we think about the spelling of kite the kite starts with k but in phonemic transcription in phonemic phonic reading c and k stands for a single sound that is the k so the sounds we have the 44 sounds though we have 26 letters okay so the it happens in case of here now i have told you one more thing that syllables are very important there so kite has also one syllable and seat sorry sit seat has seat has only one syllable and seat has also only one syllable in phonic reading the syllables are taken into consideration and according to the syllables we can produce the sound that it means in short association of letters with sounds association of letters with sounds and pronunciations is important in phonic reading we always compare a letter with sound we always think letter and sound so sounds are important here sounds are important instead of letter in phonic reading sounds are given more weightage than the letters so it is said that every letter has a individual sound every letter has a unique sound so in short we can say that if we think about all these things about the phonic reading the main goal of phonic reading is creating create phonemic awareness creating phonemic awareness among the students this is the first thing main important thing the second one is correspondence correspondence between sound and letters correspondence between sound and letter that is the pronunciation important that and the last one is third one is decoding is important in phonic reading so friends this is everything about the phonic reading so pay attention all these points and try to understand what ha what actually happens in case of phonic reading and just compare the phonic reading with emergent reading try to understand the both concept very clearly even though if you have any kind of doubts questions queries related about the phonic reading just comments in my comment box if you like it subscribe it share thank you very much